A lot of AI products charge your users with credit systems, but in reality, it's a lot cheaper to use your API keys. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what these credit systems are, why using your API key is generally better, and I'll even show you the margin that a lot of these AI products make selling credits. Let's hop into it. So what is a credit? It's made up. Credits are an abstraction. In reality, most AI companies are paying directly for usage with an, open, with an API key from a model provider like OpenAI or Anthropic. And then they are taking that usage, packaging it into a credit and selling it to their users. Now, what they're actually paying for is on a token basis. So let's talk quickly about what a token is. A token is a unit of measurement for AI models. A token roughly translates into basically a word or word chunk. And when you pay to use these model provider services, you're actually paying to process and generate tokens. So a simple, a simple sentence might be like, you know, seven tokens, but a full essay might be well over a thousand tokens. So now let's quickly look at the pricing for these tokens. Let's go over to the OpenAI pricing page. So here they list out pricing for all their models to use them via API. So let's quickly go down to GPT-40 mini. This is the uh, cheapest and one of the newest and fastest and best models. And you'll see it's actually very cheap. So to have it process, which is read 1000 tokens, it's not just one cent, it's actually one one hundredth of one cent. What technically one and a half one hundredth of one cent to process a thousand tokens. And to generate tokens, to write output, it costs six one hundredths of one cent for a thousand tokens. Now GPT-4 O is a little bit more expensive, but it's still cheap. We are talking fractions of a cent. So it is two tenths of one cent to, to read a thousand tokens. Um, and it is exactly one cent to output 1000 tokens. Now, some of these models are actually more expensive. Like if we go down and we look at the image models, to use Dolly 3, it is four cents for one image and eight cents if that is a big image. Um, and now this is all in thousands of tokens. We can, if you're the strange sort of person who likes to think in millions, we can look at processing millions of tokens. And then we see for GPT-40 mini, it's actually 15 cents for a million tokens and 60 cents to output 1 million tokens. So now that we know what tokens are and how much they cost to process, what really is a credit. A credit, again, is an abstraction because it's actually very tedious and difficult for a lot of these AI companies, AI products, to count and charge on a per token basis. So they create this abstraction of a credit. Um, and they might say, everything costs one credit to use. And they'll just bill it at a price where they know they won't lose money. Or they might have a slightly more complicated system where using one generation with this model costs one credit. But one generation with this smarter model costs two credits or three credits. So let's get a firm answer to this question. Is it better to buy credits from an AI company or product, or is it better to use your own API key? I would say in almost every case, it is better to use your own API key because you'll be paying for the AI usage at cost as opposed to the upcharge that you would usually experience on credits from a company. And the companies don't upcharge you because they're profit hungry, quite understandably, they have a large range of underlying costs. And to protect themselves against, you know, abuse, they have to price their uh, credits at the higher end of the spectrum, because they don't know whether you're going to process 10 tokens of a generation or 10,000 tokens. So they usually place these prices at the upper end of the spectrum. Now, indeed, with pickaxe, uh, we are an AI company. We are a no-code builder that lets people build AI tools like chatbots, launch them either as like embeds in their websites or as like little standalone apps. We even let people sell them, um, monetize them and sell usage to other end users. And in our case, we have both a credit system and an API key system. And we try to push everybody to the API key system because it is cheaper for them, simpler for them, and also simpler for us. But we do sell credits if people really want them, and they average out to about a little over two cents per, per credit. 
So let's quickly just look at like what a typical uh, generation might cost and how much we're upcharging on that. Here is GBT 4.0. This is the newest, most up-to-date model from OpenAI. And we can kind of say, there's not really a typical interaction, uh, like token size of interactions, but like a very typical thing is people put in an essay that's a thousand tokens and they ask it to rewrite it. So if you're doing that, you are spending two tenths of one cent for it to read your essay. And then you are spending one cent for it to rewrite it. So you're spending one and two tenths of a cent where pickaxe would charge just about double of that for a credit. Um, it would be a little over two cents. And now that's actually a pretty big request. A lot of people just have chatbots where you're talking to them. It asks you a question, you answer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And these are like single sentence or three or four sentence interactions. And if you're only processing a hundred tokens, which is pretty common, it's actually this divided by 10. And it's this divided by 10. So you aren't even paying one full cent. Um, if it was 1.2 cents for the last one, you're paying like 12 one hundredths of one cent for, if I did the math right, uh, yeah, 12 one hundredths of one cent for it, for one interaction, we'd be paying, you know, a little over two cents on pickaxe for that. So that's kind of pulling the curtain back on how these credit systems work. And again, these companies aren't trying to like overcharge you. They're just trying to create a system that makes this simpler for people and also protects them from losing money. So if you're wondering whether you should use your own API key or use credit systems, I would say most of the time, if an AI product lets you put in your own API key, you should. It'll be a lot cheaper than buying credits from them. Thanks. I hope this video that you found it instructive. If you have any questions, just put them down below. Thanks.